Good evening and welcome to my shop. This is Bruce um, and this is the beginning of Project Arthritis. Um, the idea being that I want to motorise the, um, the slide uh, because, because of the, the problem with the old hands and uh, I do quite a lot of, of uh, machining at 18 degrees off, off the face of the um, chuck so I can't do it with the taper taper attachment of course uh, so I want to motorise this because there's quite a lot of cuts uh, for each job and, and I do probably I don't know uh, 15, 10, 15 of those a month so what I've, um, what I've done is I've, uh, I'm going to put a cog on, on, the, uh, on the handle here and mount a drive I haven't, I haven't got to that stage yet of how I'm going to make that drive work one possibility is a, is a battery operated uh, or a variable speed drill and, uh, and gearing that down. But at any rate, the first, the first thing to do was to, um, to machine the cog to fit on here and to bolt through the bolts. Now, this is a perfect example of never assume anything. This machine, I'm always talking about it and I'm very proud of it. That, uh, it's, a, it's a very nice machine made in Taiwan, but there are certain things that uh, I believe are, um, are they bring them from across the border or over the water, um, and uh, may uh, some of the things might slip through to the keeper. And in this particular case, what I discovered, uh, I machined the. This is the cog, which is just a it was a regular uh, cogged wheel, and uh, what I did is I machined the taper. So it would sit, sit over there and uh, fit on the taper and I wanted to put two screws into the, um, the bolt holes of the, of the handles. Now I, machined, I drilled those out and I drilled and tapped two, um, two threads for the, the handles. I normally only use the one handle but it can, be, it can work with two. And when I came, <coughs> excuse me, when I came to bolt it up, I discovered that the holes were not in line across the centre. <coughs> the, the original holes, um, when I lined them up, they were off line of the centre. I don't know whether we can see that so well here. Um, Maybe some more light on the subject. I don't know where that's been. There we go. So they're, they're offline. Here we are here. So what I had to do was to drill and tap two new holes. So I took the, this off, stripped it down, put it on the machine. And, um, and they've, I now have the, um, the, two, the two new holes which line up. For, so I can, uh, I mean these screws are much bigger than what we need for, for the amount of load that's going to be on it. Um, but we now have this will fit up like that. And then, I, then I'll be able to screw the handle in here. Um, and so I'll probably even leave this cog on here. And, um, and just, uh, I'm gonna, I've just got to square that up, of course, when, when I do that so it doesn't go wonky like it is at the moment because it's on that taper um, and so the next step after that will then be to um, this is a, this is the other smaller cog uh, will be to set up this cog maybe a shorter belt as well um, and set that up so that I've got a drive on basically my Z of the um, of the lathe, you can call it the Z, whatever you call it, whatever you want. Um, so I'm going to set that up. So I'm probably going to look for maybe a small drill, even because there's not a lot of pressure. There's very little power needed. It's more the speed that we need to be able to adjust. Um, there's one option is to use a drill. Another option is to adapt a um, uh, an X Y Z drive uh, for that uh, kind of that you can get for the mills. So well, I'll keep you posted on how I advance with this, uh, with our uh, project um, uh, arthritis. 
and where the camera, the camera, of course, is set up with the uh, with the Noga arm behind behind here. Um, there we go. We've got the bottom of it. We'll just and um, it's part of it. So um, the, no, the 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 Noga arm that uh, Avi um, gave me uh, as a present when I was in the factory is getting full use and it's coming really really handy. So there we go, we'll catch you another time.